Morning folks, I made it to North Dakota. I drove through the middle of the night last night. I didn't originally have any intentions of driving through the night, but you know, you get going sometimes and you start seeing deer on the side of the road and you're like, hey, let's get up there and get a tag. But he's got his Can-Am going. He's ready to start hunting. Tomorrow, it's opener, buddy. That's awesome, dude. Can-Am, dude. <laughs> if you know anything about North Dakota, you know that there's not a lot of Walmarts in North Dakota. Found that out on the way driving here. So I'm a little bit off track of where I wanted to be. I'm a little bit later than what I would have liked to have got up, but the back seat wasn't too bad. So I just threw my little pillow down there. Got my sleeping bag. Can't slip in the back of Walmart parking lot. I'm gonna go in, buy a hunting license, and then I'm gonna go start checking out this public land. Pretty excited about this stuff. Should be pretty cool. Jake's meeting me down here later today. So once I get this tag, I'll see you guys out on the public land, hopefully seeing some bucks. <laughs> see y'all. <laughs> see ya. All right guys, I made it to the public land and it is looking awesome. I obviously looked at this place on the map a lot and one of the things that I've been targeting personally is the river bottom stuff. I'm looking at really anywhere that I'm seeing water on the aerial photo or if I flip on the topo. From there I can see intermittent streams or streams that are running all year. The solid line means they're running all year. To double check I'll flip over to the aerial image if I can see water in the channel. Good to go. From there I'm kind of picking high points to glass down in there to see what kind of deer are in the area, what type of habitat they're moving towards. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just going and checking these spots out, making sure that the roads are accessible. Getting a scale for everything as far as how long it's gonna take me to drive from point A to point B. Along the way I'm obviously looking for deer, but what I'm really just trying to do right now is get a feel for the area and just confirm like, is there water in these streams that I've pinned? Are these high points gonna be accessible? Can we climb them? Can we drive down the roads that go to them? that type of stuff. So this is the time of the trip where I like to just put a lot of miles in on the truck, cover a bunch of ground, start solidifying if these are areas that we want to hunt or not. But it's looking pretty awesome so far. A lot of badlands type stuff, a lot of shrubby type cover, pretty open ground. Really feeling like it's going to be pretty cool for my style of hunting where just kind of try to find one and then move in on the ground and get aggressive. Pretty excited about it. Let you guys know if we see anything cool and Jake's going to be here later this evening. Hopefully just in time to glass up some bucks as they start to move out of their bedding areas. See any white tail? <laughs> Are you? Nope. I don't know what to do. I haven't seen a single one all day. Maybe just try to relocate? Yeah. I talked to Zach and he said that he would be down to go north. I think I'm down to go north. I mean, if I'm not seeing a single deer at Whitetail from the road, I don't know. It seems like not a good thing, right? Yeah, I saw Whitetails to the north. To the north? Yeah. Yeah, because you when you went through earlier this summer? Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Just go somewhere, just start moving north? I think so, yeah. We can look at the map quick just so we got an idea in mind. Okay. All right, all day I drove around, checked out a bunch of areas, and barely saw any deer. A few mule deer, no white tails. So we're gonna move, go check out some different stuff, make a big move, probably drive like an hour, but we're not seeing many deer, probably not an area we wanna be in when you get to higher densities. So here we go, check out some new country. Give her truck. Truck! <laughs> truck fair and ball, ladies and gentlemen. There's where we slept. We got pronghorn running out there. We got meal deer running out there. Thought we heard a bugle, bull bugle over there. All right, we're in the calendar day of the opener here in North Dakota. They kind of got a 
oddball rule where you can't start until one till noon central time so that's some hours from now so we're just gonna kind of go up check some river bottom stuff yesterday we got here and I was looking all around checking out a bunch of pins that I had pinned prior to getting here didn't find hardly any deer so we cruised around and saw mule deer but no white tails really to speak of so we relocated made a pretty big move last night once it got dark came up here and camped met up with our buddy Zach Sandow we're gonna go up in here walk in a little bit just check out some stuff and uh, not get too concerned about anything yet because I don't know we, we we basically are still trying to find deer. I think that's why it's important though to get here a day early if you can. That way like if your plan doesn't go as planned, you, you got time to still find something else and you didn't waste a day of your hunting. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that last night. I'm like, you know what? I spent all day yesterday not finding anything, but. You crossed off a huge area. Yeah, I feel way better about it than if I would have done that on, you know, today had it been seasoned and we spent all that time doing that and we're wearing ourselves out doing it that way. I, you know, we're just getting our sleep, taking our time, making sure we're well rested because I know at some point we're gonna be laying in hot weather and crawling on a buck for hours with limited food and water. You know, I wanna be fresh. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna go try to find some bucks. It's basically all there is to it. Didn't find any yesterday, go find them today. Start referring to me as truck country. <laughs> <laughs> Called you truck fan by yesterday when you drove by. I guess you should probably talk about that. Yeah. The elephant in the room here. <laughs> what is this thing? Uh, well, I got myself a new rig. <laughs> Been driving beaters there for what? However old you are. Yeah, my whole life, and I uh, I don't own a house, and you know, like pretty pretty low cost of living for me so I decided to make a pretty big purchase and I bought this truck the whole reason that I bought it is because we're doing this type of stuff all the time just trying to make it easier it's like the one thing it's like my hobby it's work it's you know really everything that I do kind of revolves around driving all over the country. I just wanted something that was reliable and could get me all the places I wanted to go. Pretty stoked about it. I got this topper on here. I got these windows. Got a rack for my kayaks and canoe. Four door. I can actually lay in the bed so in situations where I need to sleep back there and kind of be undercover I can but yeah I'm, I'm real fired up about it. It's People been saying it since we started, so glad somebody when, finally got a brand new one. Buy a truck, well, I'm a truck. <laughs> <laughs> so we need an idea. Actually, we got Zach's car, the the gold, the little Desert Eagle. We got the Smurf. We got my Impala, and we got Greg's Impala. And I thought we should have a demolition derby, but if you guys got other ideas, like we're open to them. Yeah, if somebody wants, if somebody's interested in a purchase of my car, <laughs> I'll sell it to you. You can send me messages if you're interested. <laughs> I haven't uh, listed it yet, but you know, that's always an option too. I'm not necessarily set on selling it, because like demo derby, son, I know that that thing, I know that thing's got, Impalas might be rough. Yeah, I think Impalas are gonna, I mean, they got all that trunk space. Like they got all that rear end <laughs> that you can just smash in. Hey, we're only gonna know until you guys decide. Let us know what we should do. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's hunt, or out. Now we should be able to see a big bowl of the river here and another one that way. Yeah, it looks good down there, but it doesn't look any different really than what I was in yesterday. The strategy is get to a position where we're sticking out over the river river goes down to this bottom below us and out on that point out there the river kind of bends around it on either side so we can look to our right and our left sun's at our back so should be kind of illuminating some of the stuff down the bottom making it easier for us to see but set up the spotter these things are super valuable I wouldn't want to be out here without a spotter or at least a good pair of binos because 
I think spotting something is going to be our probably our best option. Put you right on the river down there. Oh yeah, that is awesome, bud. Looks like we can get all the way up. Oh, there's deer right here. Meal. Assuming big boys are bedded right now, you know. You think, yeah. But I'd say if there was a time that we were gonna catch a glimpse of them up and doing something, I'd be like right now, if that's the case. Yeah. Now I know there's white tail. Now we can just confirm that we're in right the right zone. And I think really just now we just need to get get here and try to find big bucks, I guess. If they start betting on the edge right there, I mean, mm -hmm. that's where I want them to be. Mm -hmm. if I'm one, sure they will. If we see a big buck bed there, the cool thing is I feel like up on this knob, they're gonna have a heck of a time spooking anything. Yeah, I mean, there's another deer in the fawn down here up below. We might really, I really think we're gonna have some pretty good luck just glassing and you know, kind of hanging with deer as far as that goes. Like, like I'm thinking of multiple situations, but let's say we just watch a big one go in there. I don't think you go right for it. I think you just hang loose. You might get lucky and watch him bed somewhere. Yeah. Still. Well, I think too, once you get down in there, it's just like there's not a lot of, a lot of vegetation right at deer level where it's thick. I think you'd be able to see a lot more than mm -hmm. you think down in there too, where like they stand up in that river bottom throughout the day and you're moving in slow enough like you'll probably be able to see him stand up in I, some situation. I would agree. No, I mean I feel a lot better now that we're just seeing white tails because I was thinking, shoot boy, how you gonna be doing with the heights in these parts? I mean, I wouldn't really much care for walking out that, but you know, I will. <laughs> had a lady roll up. We're making some lunch here, but she told us we better not go down that way because we got two combines coming and uh, deep, or the ditch is pretty steep on both sides. And she looks like she was right. I don't know how we would have got by these things. I guess we could have just pulled down into the ditch, but they're blocking the road pretty good. <laughs> some big deer. Why is he so mad? Why is he that mad at him? I don't see any does around. <laughs> don't 
can't see that in the Midwest. <laughs> it's out here cooking lunch. Lunch and entertainment. <laughs> Some of the best entertainment you could probably find. Oh yeah. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> What's up? Seeing any? Yeah, but we saw good stuff around here. Yeah. You know? Did you guys have any luck last year? Last year we taked out 11 points and then him and I both missed. Hell yeah. So, but they were, they were big boys. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are from Michigan. That's a heck of a drive, son. <laughs> well, they're coming, they've been here before and they came back for a reason, so that's a good sign. Yeah, they said nothing but magnums out here, so that's something I stand for. <laughs> we're gonna get fueled up. We got another combine going by, so we figured we'd just take our time. We're gonna have a little coffee here. I had my coffee, so I'm feeling it. I'm completely fired up. We're gonna get to a new spot, maybe fling a couple arrows, make sure we're on, but we're hunting. Awesome. It's open season now. What am I doing here? I need to... At this point, we're down in a creek bottom, and we're about to go up and kind of scout our way through, and eventually try to get to a high point where we can overlook this. What brought us here is uh, bumped into some guys from Michigan, and they said that in this area, they see a lot of deer, so came over here, looks awesome. There's a lot of diversity down in here. The place we were gonna go, somebody's parked up there, so. Going, going in over this way, wind's in our favor. We're gonna kinda scout our way along some private fields where we think they might be feeding and hopefully, hopefully get on something. We haven't been on much, but we're hunting now, so now we're gonna try. I said there's some big ones around. Yeah. I'm feeling good. I feel good. Was this first day of season? Come on, get out. So this is our way. If we go up, we get it straight up on that high point. I'm sure we can probably just go there and up. Yeah. And we can glass down and we can cut across and then get back over there. Bud's gotta be hunting whitetails, huh? He's ahead of us, and by all means, he was parked here first. I just assumed he was going that way. Yeah, I think we we'll leave it for him. Do we go over there? Other side of the road. Or do we just go drive? And... If we can think about it on the way back to the car, we gotta go back there anyway. Alright. Good luck, guy. <laughs> That's what you do, though. You, if somebody beats you there, you go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Going the other way. Plan D. <laughs> we gotta be up on high points like this, I think, don't you? We find what we want. Right. That looks <laughs> decent. So it's private too that we can see. So there's always a chance. We're just gonna have to wait for a better time, but I think there might be a buck down there. Oh, yeah. You can see him with your naked eye, he's orange, bright colored to the right of where you're looking. Left. Oh yeah. Nice one? Very nice, nicest one we've seen. Yeah, this is gonna be fun as good, dude. Is he a shooter? I don't think so yet. Ah, this will be fun. If we can get back here again. Or some, e even anything like it. I mean, I say from here on out tonight, we just start picking as many of these spots and those river spots and just stick to it. You know what I mean? But this, look, I mean, I think that buck, seeing where he is, wind being the way it is, I mean, dude, you just drop way around him and get 
And you know, you know, if you know he beds in that pocket. Yeah, that's the ideal type of spot, I'd say. And I think that's gonna keep happening, though. Kind of limited cover for him. Right. I mean, but it's even, easy to pick him back up. Right. Because they're not gonna, they're gonna do that multiple times in the day too. So, let's say we get one going out in this finger and we lose him with terrain. Well, we get to the next closest high point and just hang out and move up to where we can see at different angles. And at some point, he's gonna stand and do that. Yeah. Track. Awesome, dude. something too so There's two big bucks, I think. Down the, bottom? Down the bottom right now, okay. Right by the other one? I don't know. I, I, there's two, two nice, bigger bodied deer. And they're right down that bottom. In the creek there? Yep. That's the one I saw before. Definitely the biggest ones I've seen. The one's pretty big. I can't wait. They're right, right on that verge of like, it's day one, you know. I, I, they're the biggest ones we've seen, but. Like maybe sun's coming. The one just the run up that creek coming up. The only thing is, is like, here's the only flip, flip side, it's like, do we go for that thing or do we just like see what else comes out tonight and then have a better idea of what they're gonna do in the morning? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're I running out, of, running out of time, really. That's, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. It's like realistically, we're gonna probably drop off here, spook deer out of this, try to find a way to cross that creek. Have to get up, and by that time, they're gonna be on top. Mm -hmm. And that's, I'm just wondering if now that we know that there's deer in here, shooters bedded there today. So, I mean, assuming either they're up that ditch to the left. I'm gonna sit here for just a little bit longer because I want to look now. I want to look all these other places that we haven't been looking. Mm -hmm. I want to look down in that ditch a lot because I think, yeah, yeah, I see one with my eyes. What else would you see one? Hey, son, darn it. I seen with my, my nude eye. <laughs> all right, this morning we found a pretty good spot that we're gonna go back to at some point. But this afternoon we covered a bunch of ground, ended up talking to those guys. They told us this was a good area. Came in here, saw, saw more deer in here than we've seen anywhere in more bucks. We're gonna get aggressive when we think it makes sense to, and that's probably gonna be the morning. 
if you flip the situation and they're coming back into bed, like that's our opportunity to know they're going to start slowing down, stage up, and we can get in there and hang with them. And hopefully we know where a bunch of other deer are then too. Right. Watch everything else kind of go back in there. We can move around them so we're not running deer all around down there. Yeah. So just kind of playing it, playing it slow. It's To be honest, it's a little boring at this point. We've been in the truck a lot. And really we've just been walking to these high points, which isn't a lot of walking. Time, when the time's right. Like yeah. tomorrow morning, the time's going to be right. Because we're going to spot a shooter, I would say, in this vicinity vicinity and then we're just going to be playing like get closer to him until we shoot him at this point all i want it to be is tomorrow i don't even really want to sleep i just want it to be daylight tomorrow morning come over here and look at him once. looks pretty nice from what i can tell yeah dude he's a big bug jake he's right at the bottom he looks like he's just like way bigger. Obviously, he's petted, dude. He's petted right there. 